Well, the storm hitting Connecticut didn't go quite as expected, and that's a good thing when it comes to dealing with the aftermath. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robbins joins us live from Old Saybrook this morning where things are calm, and that's good news. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, uh, Caitlin. Calm. The sun is rising, and uh, people are feeling pretty good. The tropical storm at the time, Faye, skipped uh, many, uh, this community and many along the shoreline. But despite their being happy and maybe a little giddy, it doesn't mean they weren't prepared to deal with difficulties. Old Saybrook had its full emergency response unit prepared for service by Friday afternoon. The late change in tropical storm phase path was unexpected, and what that means now is that protocol and supplies are ready for the next oncoming storm. Our goal is to reposition all the supplies that we keep in various parts of the town to the shelter before the storm arrives. So worst case scenario, the shelter doesn't open, we don't have to use any supplies, we simply put everything back in storage. But if we need it, it's at the ready. And with the supply chain fortified and ready for the eventual next weather emergency, Old Saybrook residents feel protected and secure on many fronts. Actually lucky because we have the wall here that you know protects us. So basically here we're not too bad. So town management certainly prepared for the future, and uh, Mike Cameron and everybody in the Channel 3 Weather Center will tell you there will be a future because we're very early in the uh, storm season. Reporting live in Old Saybrook, Mark Robbins, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Mark, thank you. And if you have any photos of flooding that might have happened in your neighborhood as that rain moved through last night, we do want to see them. You can send us those pictures using the Channel 3 app. Remember, it's free to download. Turning now to the coronavirus in Connecticut. The latest numbers from the governor's office show there were no COVID-19 related deaths for the second day this past week. And at last check, 78 more people tested positive for the virus. There are now 13 fewer patients in the hospital this morning and nearly 12,500 additional tests have been done. We are expecting another updated round of numbers today.